I saw a picture of the mammograms and I knew something was really wrong. And um, I get a call from um, Dr. Salk saying, uh, Lisa, you need to come see me right now. And so I went and he, he sat there and he held my hand and he goes, you have cancer. And I'm like, what? Not at all possible. There's like no cancer in my family. I just kept waiting for them to say, oh no, you know, you're wrong. My kids, um, what, what would happen to, um, to the kids? Because um, I'm a single mom. And I just thought, oh, how, how am I gonna deal with this? My mother had breast cancer as I was growing up in my teens. And when she had breast cancer, I didn't really think anything about it. I discovered that I had a lump on my chest back in 1996. I went to the doctor within three days, had it tested within a week. The test came back, got a call, you need to come into office. He said, it's cancerous, Rodney. Um, at that moment, I broke down. I broke down. I didn't know what to do. I have three children. At the time, my youngest one was, he was 15, 15 years old, 15. And he didn't understand. He said, what? What do you mean? Guys don't have breast cancer. I feel that it, cancer doesn't affect just the individual, it's a ripple effect, it affects the immediate family and all, then beyond that the larger family and friends in addition. So I think education is important for all those people. We got together around the table and she said it very gently and told us that I have been diagnosed with breast cancer. And we all talked about it, and she said that, there, that she was going to survive. She is going to make it. There is no doubt in her mind that she wasn't going to make it. I grew up. I really did, I, because uh, I had a lot more responsibility, because my mom wasn't home. I was able to discuss my feelings mostly with my sister. While my mom was sick, uh, she did end up having to go to the hospital many, many times with complications. I became like my brother's mom. I became my mom. Most of the time, she was the only one there with me due to my, mo my dad being with my mom in the hospital. That year, uh, there was a, a mother-son event, and in a sense, I was my brother's mom. I went with him. She was the one I could always go to. She was always the one to be there for me. I always took care of him. If he was upset, you know, I talked to him. She was basically the only one I could share my feelings with. I didn't want to see, want him to see me upset, so I had to put on a strong face for him, and um, because I knew that if he saw me upset, he'd be upset. My mom's cancer definitely brought my family together. We're a lot closer now. We're more of a whole now.